Okay. Yeah. Hello, amazing souls. I hope you're having another great day. Welcome to another episode of the Bobby Joe and Sheena show. Two friends, two mindset coaches here to help you process what are you thinking? What are you creating in your life and that you can have anything truly. Today we were just talking and Sheena said that there was a topic of a book that said, what is it? Huh? <laughs> There's only one book. There's only one book. There's a, yeah. There's only, there's only there's only one book. There's only one book, and it brought back a story that back in 2005, I went to New Zealand and I had a friend up in Maine watch my dog. And when I came back after three months, she said we were really deep spiritual books, and I mean deep in spiritual. And if you see, I have all these books. And she told me I've gotten rid of all my books. There's only one book, and that's the Bible. I literally have not talked to this girl in 19 years, and it makes me want to cry because that scared me because I just thought, oh my God, she's a born again. Oh my God, she's gonna try to convert me. Oh my God, the stories, the stories and the beliefs and the truth that aren't even true because we are the divine and that's what I've come to notice. So I need to go fly up there and spend a weekend with this girl and just heal the last 19 years of why I turned my back on a friend once she found the Bible. Woo, I'll just leave that at that. <laughs> I'll maybe come back after you talk, Sheena. What's your take on this? That's, that's what, what I'm laughing at is because I just turned right and said exactly the same thing. <laughs> And so but Bobby Joe and I've been on this journey for five years, so she knows where I'm coming from. And it was just like, I just find it so interesting. And I had this thing just going, there's only one book and that's the book to read. And so, you know, you don't need these other books. So I decided, right, okay, do you know what? I mean, I have Bible verses that pop down, pop down, pop down. And you'd think I did, I had read the Bible, but I swear to God, you know, I would literally just wake up in the night with a Bible verse and then I go and investigate and go, where did this come? And it's so funny, Bobby Joe, because every time a verse came down, it's like I, I knew it the whole time as if, you know, I'd heard it. So I must've heard it in church or something or wherever it's come from, it doesn't really matter. And um, so I decided to pick up the Bible. What I was really interested, it was like, you know, New Testament or Old Testament. And I thought, what the heck, let's start with the Old Testament. And the first page was about, you know, how the world was created. And it started off really about, you know, what do you want? So God wanted this. And so he did it and it was good. Then God wanted, so God wanted the plants and he, he created them and it was good. God wanted the animals and he created them and it was good. God wanted the um, man and he created them, it was good. Is there anywhere in that first flipping thing of Genesis that actually says God consulted everybody before he just made his own decision? God <laughs> looked at everybody else's Ooh. opinion. I wonder what all the other gods, even though there's only me, one God, there's only, I am God and beside me, there's no one else. But anyway, there was nobody else he can he consulted. He just wanted it and he decided it was good and he had it and that's it. And imagine if you could live your life like that. Like just imagine if you could just think to yourself, what do I want? Well, I'd like this. Okay, I'll have it. And it can be that easy, I feel like. A lot of people look at Oprah Winfrey, right? It's about your intentions. It's about learning the groundwork of everything. And you, Or Taylor Swift or anyone. I'm sorry, I'm mentioning American names. But anyone who is at that high standard that I just said those names, you know who I'm talking about, that they had to go through so much about their own belief, but then they just wanted it and they brought it to them and they got it. And then what you're doing is complaining, oh, look at them and then and then. So you're putting yourself in the lack of not having when they have come to realize. And isn't that amazing too, when you see people on the Emmys or anytime people are up on TV or an award or they win the Super Bowl, what's the first thing they say? I want to thank God and I want to thank my mom. <laughs> right? And so that's where we're, that's where I'm at. I have a dog growling over here, my little chihuahua. I swear she's possessed with a ghost. So that's why I'm like, who is she growling at over here? So sorry if I've been distracted with you, Sheena. But so what is that? What's the one book for you? And why does it scare you? Because so I'm just still a work in progress. What triggers me and why is it triggering me? So what are my paradigms? And again, it's all the programming people. 96% of this is just the programming by your cultural paradigm, your society, your world, what country, what continent you're on. So start having awareness, make people rise, find your Bible. That's all I have to say. <laughs> like that, find your Bible. Like, share, subscribe. See you soon. Cheerio now. <laughs>